what you see here now we will place the extensors of arising from the forearm and going to the hand so what you see here is the lower end of the radius this is the styloid this is the styloid here is a tubercle which is called as the lister's tubercle now the brachioradialis muscle comes and gets inserted here on the radial styloid so this what you see here is the brachioradialis muscle now <coughs> there are the first muscle that comes and gets inserted on the abductor aspect of the first tendon that gets inserted on the abductor aspect is abductor pollicis longus abductor pollicis longus and just close to it is the extensor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis so abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis are the two tendons that lie like this then you have two tendons going to the extensor carpi radialis longus to the second metacarpal and extensor carpi radialis brevis so then there are muscles which are not connected to the thumb all right which are extensors of the carpi so they are extensor carpi they are on the radial side radialis longus and brevis then there is a muscle which comes medial to the lister's tubercle turns around and gets inserted into the first metacarpal this is the extensor pollicis longus so a space is formed between the abductor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis on this side here lies the lister's tubercle and extensor pollicis longus comes medial to the lister's tubercle and goes and gets inserted into the thumb so this is the thumb okay this is going into the thumb therefore the space between the extensor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis and extensor carpi radialis longus is called as the snuff box this is called as the snuff box we'll make the radialis longus tendon like this and thus the snuff box will here be marked let us mark it in red is like this and tenderness in the snuff box is right over the scaphoid so scaphoid tenderness tenderness on this is the clinical sign of the fractured scaphoid so after understanding the anatomy of the snuff box 
everything else becomes extremely simple. Then you have a, another muscle which comes and gets inserted into the distal carpal here and this is the extensor carpi ulnaris. So you have the flexor carpi radialis which is inserted anterior on these two metacarpals balanced by extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis where on the extensor side it becomes two muscles and extensor carpi ulnaris. We have been able to move the thumb, putting the abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis tendon, making the extensor pollicis longus wind round the Lister's tubercle, and the base of the snuff box being formed by the extensor carpi radialis longus. Now, then you have the extensor indices the four extensor digitorum and another extensor digiti minimi. So this is, you have the extensor, you have the extensor indices, the four extensor digitorum and held by extensor digiti minimi. Therefore, from lateral to medial, the tendons are abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis, extensor pollicis longus, flexor, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, and the extensor carpi ulnaris. Then distal to the metacarpals, you have extensor indices, digitorum and digiti minimi. So these are the structures related to the dorsal aspect of the, of the wrist. One important thing about this lateral two muscles is that they are surrounded by a synovium, synovial sheath here and here they, the abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis are surrounded by the synovial sheath where there is a stenosing tenosynovitis and that stenosing tenosynovitis is called as D. Quervon's disease if you flex uh, the flex the wrist and ulna deviate on a flexed elbow there is pain at this point and that is called as Finkelstein test the treat the treatment is that you can give an injection of steroid injection into the synovial sheath and you can break the stenosing components of it so steroid injection is the treatment of this condition so this finishes the structures and what you'll have to say is lateral to medial, sir, is abductor pollicis long as extensor pollicis brevis responsible for decoros disease. The basis of the snub box formed by the extensor carpi radialis long as and brevis. Tenderness in the snub box indicates a fractured scaphoid. The last extensor of the wrist is extensor carpi ulnaris, so extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, and extensor carpi ulnaris. In the extensor carpi radialis brevis tendon near the elbow, you can have a vascularized lesion 
leading to tenderness which is called as tensor uh, which is called as tennis elbow then you have the extensor indices extensor digitorum and extensor digiti minimi so this finishes the wrist the extensors of the wrist which you may remember